After six days of relative peace and quiet, a tank rolls through this part of southern Israel, signalling the end of the ceasefire. Israel and Hamas have traded blame for the collapse of the deal, with each saying the other violated the terms of the truce. Unfortunately, Hamas decided to terminate the pause by failing to release all the kidnapped women as it was obligated to do so and kidnapped children and by resuming rocket fire. Having chosen to hold on to our women, Hamas will now take the mother of all thumpings. One big difference between the first phase of the war and the renewed offensive is that Israeli forces have now turned their attention towards the south of the Strip, widening their offensive. The IDF dropped thousands of leaflets across southern Gaza on Friday, urging people to leave the city of Khan Yunis, warning that the area was now a dangerous battle zone. The Israeli army also released a map dividing the Gaza Strip into hundreds of numbered zones, telling residents to learn the number associated with their location in case of eventual evacuation. The Hamas health ministry says that dozens of Palestinians have already been killed in the renewed offensive.